compact, powerful and reliable. That are the back of power supplies. The power supplies you can divide into three series. For example, the PS1000 products are for one phase and 24 volt. And the output current starts in the lower range, 2.5, 3.8, and it goes via 5 up to 10 and 20 amps. The output power is in the range of 100%. Although they are a little bit smaller, they have a very good efficiency of more than 95%. If we go to the PS2000 products, then we have as well 24 and one phase devices, but as well a variant for 48 volt and three phases. The output current is in the middle range, 5, 10 and 20 amps. Here we have now a feature that you can get an output power of these devices of up to 120% for the whole time. And another feature is the peak current at the output. This peak current you can use to trip MCBs at the output circuit, or for example, if you have some dynamic loads, you can react as well with this peak current. The efficiency is perfect and it is higher than 96%. And altogether, the products are in a compact housing. For example, the 20 amp product is just only 48 millimeters. If we go to the PS3000 products, there we have as well one and three phase devices for 24 and for 48 volts. The output current is in the middle and up to the high range, so 10, 20 and 40 amps. Here, now the output power goes up to 150% for four seconds. And as well, we have the peak current here at the output. The efficiency goes up to more than 95% by these products. And what is now so unique to the back of power supplies? So all the back of power supplies have got a very high optimized design. And therefore, we have inside a very good convection cooling. Therefore, we have less losses, and so we have a very high efficiency and a very good lifetime of the device in total. They are very robust against external disturbances, for example, input transients or the backfeeding load from the output circuit, or in general, the topic of temperature. And so they have a very high reliability by a compact housing by very good dimensions of these products. All the products have got these basics. The differences is by the feature. So for example, if you need the peak current or not. And if you go now the next step, and if you want to make your machines and plant more efficiently, more powerful, then you can add some add-on modules. For example, buffer modules or redundancy modules. For example, if you have some fluctuations or dips to the mains voltage, or you have some load peaks, then you can use the buffer modules. Or if you have, for example, a very high availability, for example, for the process industry, and you have a double structure of two power supplies, then you have to decouple the power supplies with a redundancy module. We have a different kind of variants by the buffer modules and the redundancy modules. For example, different devices for 24 and 48 volt by the buffer modules with an output power of output current of up to 20 and 40 amp. The redundancy modules, let me say, are combined products. They have a big range of input voltage, so you can use two different kind of nominal voltages from the power supplies to one redundancy module. And the output power is as well 20 and 40 amps. And the unique feature of these devices is on the one hand side to the buffer modules, they have electrolytic capacitors inside and they have a very high um, energy density by the small housing. And the good feature to the redundancy products is that they are running with the MOSFET technology and so you have less losses and so a good efficiency and yeah, let me say combined devices in just one product. And so with the back of power supplies, including with the add-on modules, 
you can strengthen up your applications and machines.